Welcome to Simply Made Cocktails. I'm Eric Thoreau. Tom Jones. What's up? And we are back for a Monday review. Yes. First of all, I just want to apologize that we missed all last week. There was some co conflicting schedules and things just got messed up. I'm in the process of getting all my stuff together to move to a different location. So. Oh, yeah. And I'm just taking it easy right now. So. I should have put a, a note on our social media that was the reason why we didn't do any shows last week. Um, I was even supposed to have a special interview show that I was supposed to do last week, but things just came up. So, apologize for that. We're back on it, and we're here to show you that we got Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan! 1671. I knew he was doing that. That's why I was watching him. <laughs> <laughs> so, Captain Morgan, 1671. This is a commemorative... I'm glad I said that before I started drinking. Blend. Uh, Caribbean rum with spice and other natural flavors. It's 35% alcohol by volume, so 70 proof. So it's not the full That's it. Full proofage of a straight spirit, but because it is spiced. That's a special edition. You really want to open that? How else are you going to know how it tastes? Taste the plastic? No, you just got to drill a little hole. Or right, you got to do this little tongue here thing here they have here. There you go. Otherwise, I would be just twisting this all over. Yeah, tongue twister. See, this is a brand new bottle just sent to us, or actually a couple weeks ago. Really? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Oh man, this would have been you. You would have loved to open that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> that made your major thump. Oh yeah, it's like a, it made my ears ring. <laughs> pop, pop. Yeah, go ahead and smell it before you pour it. Let's see, how, was a, how would a pirate do it? Scurvy? Scurvy, whatever they get, pirate scurvy? Hmm, not bad. Let's go ahead and... On a it. tragic day oh, no. in 1671, Captain Henry Morgan lost his beloved vessel to sacrifice during his infamous raid on Panama? Guy raided Panama? No wonder. This fine jug holds an... Exp Expertly crafted spice rum. What was that you could say? I would say expert, <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> Finished with Spanish oak. Now, you know, Spanish oak is one of the finest oaks out there, you know. Yeah, it's better than the California great oak. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I just know about my Spanish oaks. To commemorate the legendary captain and his final flagship. The final one? Didn't he, like, try to capture the Black Pearl after that or something? It's coming out in 1672. Okay. <laughs> nice. Any excuses to get more room out there? Yes. So this is... I also got a little bit of a shorter neck to pour from, but it's got a nice design what to it. you say you have a shorter neck? Yes. That's what she said. So, it's got a nice little thing here. A little pour, jug. A jug style kind of design to it. Actually, that's not bad. Do we need to put any uh, water in here? Yes, we do. All right. May as well detonate the blow. Yes. Even with the water, it still maintains that color. What color is that? Amber. Is that amber? Would that be amber color? I haven't met Amber. Is Amber more red? I haven't is she met more Amber. red? That's is she more of a redhead? It depends. A brunette? She could be a blonde. Oh, that's right. Huh? Nowadays, the way ladies start uh, coloring their hair purple and green and blue and amber. Mahogany? Mahogany? Boy, that's, that's well preserved if you uh, use mahogany to uh, I could get the dye spices. your hair. Yeah, definitely cherry a lot of uh, the spices. spices. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> Doing lines over there or something? Oh, I know, man. I need this to clean out my sinuses. Ah, oh, man. Just let's just sit here for a moment and savor the flavor well, we got from our noses. Well, you can savor it. I'm gonna taste. Not bad. I think I'll water my down a little bit, though. Yes, I saw you pour a little bit more water than usual. Yeah. I got a little excited on that. But that's good. Definitely taste the spices. 
Um, I taste yeah, spice. like a caramel. I taste like a cherry yeah. cask caramel. Yeah. I taste the oak. Definitely rum from the Caribbean. And I do do taste the natural flavors. You do they get the alcohol. Whatever they may be. You get the alcohol on the back end. Very yeah. back end. The light. It's almost like an equal spacing of alcohol. And then the, the flavoring. And no burn. You, first. you don't get any burn. No, it's smooth. It's really smooth. Really smooth going down. Uh, would I personally would I see me sipping this? I could. In front of a fireplace in your um, oh god here we library. Go here we go. Oh, okay, there we go. With your uh, pipe. Uh oh, he's back there again. In your uh, robe. Oh. Your uh, yeah. You know your robe and your pipe with your uh, sand, um, what do you call it? slippers? Yeah. And you Hefner robe. Oh, it's going way for you Hefner man. <laughs> Trap and you. Know, Son of a... <laughs> dropping a U on you. I'm dropping a U on you. Dropping a heifer on you. Yeah. This is very light. It goes light to where you almost don't f taste anything. And then it hits you with some of the flavors, some of the spices. Some of the oak finished. Not bad. And then a little bit of the ethanol of that. But really, you can't really distinguish that. It's a little bit smooth. But as far as for the, your tolerance to the ethanol and the alcohol that's in here, it's all up to individual preferences and, and tolerances, you know. So we could say this is like water, but for you, it could be the worst thing ever. So Yes. But but at, if you keep drinking it, though, it gets better. Because you don't realize what you're drinking. <laughs> exactly. So that way we have to encourage drink responsibly. Mm -hmm. Don't drink like him. Do not drink until you pass out. Actually, I've actually never passed out. That you can remember. <laughs> but I don't remember. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nothing I can remember. Except the next day. And how you wonder how you got there. Yeah. With, with you know, uh, on the half floor. of my clothes. I can see like one in a closet. Like your teacher on the lower step and then your your socks are on the upper step and the next sock is on the higher step. And my pants are on the roof. Yeah. How did that happen? And they're waving in the wind. <laughs> like one of those flag winds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> telling, telling you which way the wind's blowing. Not that kind of wind. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> Don't want to break wind. No, no. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, because it comes with a crack. Oh, that's right. All right. I think we took this a little too far, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> you Let's go back to the U Hefner robe. The U Hefner robe. Playboy style stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is a very classy good. It's a limited edition. I would say it would cost probably around $21. Not bad. Not for sure, but I will have... I'll put... As I'm doing this right now, you see it striding across the screen. You know, the price uh, where you get it, you get it. Does it does it scroll up high or is it more down here? It's more, kind of looking, probably about, probably like about right, right here. here. Not so much up, yeah. yeah probably right about, about here. here. Yeah. Like this. You see it like that? Yeah, it's more of like a, a fade in more than a ticker tape. So you got to do this both ways. So then, in case I don't remember which way it scrolls. It doesn't scroll. Well, right it just there, puts okay. on there. Oh, it doesn't. No, I don't. Then do why do you say scroll? You could have scrolled. I could have, but I wanted to screw you up. Okay, it just works. look right here, and right here, and right there. <laughs> yeah, so this is a great one. Limited edition. Now, as far as for limited availability, there is another one that was like with the cherry cask, private stock. Yeah. Um, that was supposed to be limited edition with Captain Morgan. And basically, it's usually marketed it's for different markets. They'll hold it in different markets at different times. So it may be limited edition, like in the New England area for a while. And then once it stopped there, then they moved down south and they hit like, the, you know, the Carolinas and then down south to the, the Florida Panhandle and across to, to like California and Texas and all that stuff. So they market their limited editions. That's when it comes. So it's not fully limited as far as for being available to that area only and that's it. They won't do this. It's Captain Morgan. They're one of the, the biggest brands out there. Heck, he's, he's captain of the uh, Caribbean. He's not gonna limit us off to one small little area. Caribbean or Caribbean? The Caribbean man. All right, man. So this is great stuff. This is a great time, and this is perfect just for your holiday. If you're wondering for a last-minute thing to get, you can get this. And also, I think... Thank you. I appreciate that. Not for you. I, I already got you something else. Oh, no, you didn't have to get me anything. I didn't. Okay. That's good. what I got you. Nothing. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a good something. Yeah. And it's, little free. Little yeah, it's, it's most affordable. Yeah, it's something or nothing. Imagine if it was on sale. Well, then that would be... I'd have to give you money if it was on sale. Okay. 
Sorry, I left my wallet uh, in my other uh, my pants on the roof. Yeah, with your new your new phone that you just purchased. Yeah. So your money is all spent. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, oh. do you really want to go there? Why? Because of my phone? Yeah. Great, great room. I love this room. It's great. And that's my personal one, so I love this room. It's good. No, it's really good. So we said uh, Captain Morgan, 1671, limited edition, commemorative brand, and it has a nice special design, which is kind of cool that they did the design. They got, you know, the embellished on there. So it, you know it's a straight black bottle with the handle on top, like a jug, and it says 1671, which is like the main title of the rum. What are you trying to do, Mitch? See how no. much you're drinking more of mine? Yeah, I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta make sure I drink more of, your, of of this than you. No competition. Smart drinking. And we'll oh, you know what? The thing is, most of this is water, anyways. See, that's the way to smart drink. Put water in your uh, alky. Or just space it out, and after you're done drinking, have some water. Yeah, you can do it that way too. What do you think I'm gonna water standing by? So, drink smart. Enjoy your cocktails. Enjoy your beverages. Don't drink it to where you're gonna deny it. You know, whether it be health-wise, safety-wise, or legally-wise. So, I'm Eric Thoreau. I'm Jones. SimplyMadeCocktails.com. Go ahead and check it out. You could buy bar accessories from our affiliation with Awesome Drinks. You could also buy, you know, recipe books, cocktail books, everything. And now, you can also go online and submit your recipe. Really? So, wow. the recipe form is there online. Submit your recipe and just give us some time to, you know, get back to you. It's a new thing, so... We will get back to you and confirm when we can start doing your, your online. And then to confirm that you got your recipe, it'll be posted on our calendar on the website. Nice. You learn something new every day on this show, even me. Yep, and we'll continue teaching you some more new stuff on Wednesday for Cocktail Wednesday. Until then, take care.